Question 12. So let's start off by just making this one, one fraction. So multiply this side by cos, multiply this side by sine. So what's that going to give us? That's going to give us cos 3 theta, cos theta, and plus sine 3 uh, theta and sine theta. And all of that is over sine theta, cos theta. Now, to be honest, with this question, you've just got to have the confidence to go with it. Now, OK, if it, it, there's another little clues up here. It's got a 2 theta in the answer. That's where we're trying to get to. It's got cot. We'll work that out later. Um, so I've got these three theta. So I, so I need to do something with that. So what you should know is using your double angle formula, or addition formula, I should say, is that cos 3 theta is equal to cos 2 theta, cos theta, take away sine 2 theta, sine theta. And likewise, sine theta, uh, 3 theta, is going to be equal to uh, sine 2 theta. These are all in the formulae book. Obviously not written down exactly like this, but they are in the formulae book. So, whoops, that's a plus. Uh, and that's going to be cos 2 theta, sine theta. Okay, looks a bit messy, but let's just put it all back in, all right? And let's see where it takes us. So we're going to have cos theta times multiplied by this, okay? So I'm just going to do that in one move. So we've got cos 2 theta, cos squared theta, okay? And then we're going to have, let's look at the, the next one along. So this one also gets multiplied by uh, that cos theta, all right? So cos theta is being multiplied by both of these things here. So we've got sine 2 theta, sine theta, cos theta. Now we're over here, so it's this one, so this times sine theta, so that's going to be plus, so what have we got? So we've got sine 2 theta cos theta times by the sine theta, now it looks horrible at the moment, um, and then this one times by sine theta as well, so cos 2 theta, whoops, and sine, uh, squared theta. And then all of that lot is over sine theta, cos theta. Look at these two just here. They're exactly the same, minus plus. They just cancel out. And then look, cos 2 theta, right, let's, it's probably easier just to write this down quickly. So cos 2 theta, cos squared theta, plus, now look how this all just drops out really neatly. Right. There was a moment ago when I was up here and I wrote this line down here in the middle of writing that. I was thinking, I don't know where this is going. But look at this. Sine theta, cos theta. Look, cos squared plus sine squared. There's a clue. It's equal to one. So look, if I just take out cos 2 theta as a factor, common factor there, I've got cos squared theta plus sine squared theta. That's one. All right, look at this. This is dropping out really nicely. Still a little way to go. So that's just going to be one there. So we've got cos 2 theta over sine theta cos theta. Now, there's another little clue. Again, it's just looking and thinking, wait a minute, I've got to get cot 2 theta. So I wonder if I can get some sort of sine bit on the bottom, just on the bottom. Maybe I could just get a sine 2 theta. Ah, oh, wait a minute. So what's sine 2 theta equal to? That's equal to two lots of this. So now this is probably the hardest one to spot. Lots of people don't spot this one straight away. It's recognizing that that is that. If I said what's sine 2 theta, most people haven't got too much of a problem about telling me it's 2 sine cos. But recognising this is a little bit harder. OK, so look, that's cot 2 theta. So that's cot 2 theta over a half. And if we're dividing by a half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. And which is what we wanted to get. Hurrah. Right. Part B. Now, part B... 
Now, again, there's, there's, why have they told you this here? Even if you couldn't do part A, you can still do part B because they told you this. So basically, just rewrite this, but replace two cot two theta. So let's just write that in there. So we've got two cot two theta equals four. And then we just then we just solve that. Divide by two. So cot two theta equals two. Uh, cot two theta is one over tan two theta equals two. So those two swap around and Right, we're nearly there. So if I arc tan, so that's going to give me two theta is 26.6 degrees. Obviously, just pop that into calculator. So theta is equal to, whoops, run out of the 13.3 degrees. Now, it also said up here the answer's got to be between 90 and 180. Now, because it's two theta, looking for like tan's quite a nice one to work with normally it's plus or minus 180 degrees if you think about the tan graph but because it's two theta it's going to be plus or minus 90 degrees remember cos and sine they're always a bit of a pain to work out the second angle but tan's a lot easier you just plus minus 90 degrees so if you add 90 degrees onto that and we will find that the answer is 103.3 degrees